Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel tutorial from ITME and this tutorial number 61 and this tutorial we're going to talk about filtering. Now filtering consists of two types of filtering. The first one is auto filter, second one is advanced filtering. This particular video is going to be about auto filtering. The next video is going to be about advanced filtering. So let's get started. So to enable filtering, first of all, you need to select any cell within the range on which you want to apply filtering and then you can go onto the home tab editing group and then click on sort and filter and click filter and from the tip you can see that the keyboard shortcut for that is control shift L. The second way to do the same thing is you can go to the data tab. There you're gonna find we have sort and filter group and from there you can click on filter and the filtering got enabled. Now when the filtering is enabled you're gonna see all the column headers they are having this arrow and when I click on that arrow it gives you a menu using which you can perform the sorting as well as filtering. So this sort and filter option is available through keyboard shortcut also. If I press Control Shift L, the filter is removed. Again, if I press Control Shift L, I get it back. So this is how I can add or remove the auto filter. Now what all operations we can perform with auto filter is I can click on over here, you can type in your search criteria from here, or you can search the options from this list. So if I want to see all the guys with the last name Adams, I can say just remove the checkbox and show me all the guys with the last name Adam and click on OK and now you are getting all the names with Adam. Now once you have applied the filter, what happens? Excel behind the scene hides other records and now you are seeing that on whatever column you apply the filter, you are seeing a funnel icon over here and the, the row headings, they are now blue in color. Now to remove the filter, I can click on over here and I say clear filter or you can clear from here. So let's do once more. If I want to apply, let's say on state, I can say show me all the records for Alaska and I click on OK and now you are getting all the records. Now how many records you are getting, it shows in the status bar that you are seeing 145 records out of 405 records. Now I can also make changes if I say this guy is from Georgia, I make changes. So you can see that although I have applied filtering, still it is showing this record now to update this. I just need to say reapply from here. So after making the changes, I can click on reapply and that record is gone. So this is how we can make the filter on. I can clear the filter and I can reapply the filter. Now let me clear the filter. The other option is you can also, if you are seeing a record and you want to see all other record with the same data, you can simply right click. So if I want to see, just give me all the guys with the last name Cook, I can right click, filter, and I say filter by selected cells value. And now you are seeing all the records with the last name Cook. You can also apply filters on multiple columns. So if I want to say that I want all the guys with the last name Cook and their state is Alaska, so I can click on over here remove and I click on Alaska and click on OK and now you are seeing the record that satisfy both the criteria last name Cook and state is Alaska. Now if you want to remove the filter I can remove the filter one by one for all the columns first of all from state and then by the last name or if you want to remove the filter from all the columns you can click on over here clear and it removes all the filters. So this is how we can perform the filter from that list. You can also perform the search operation when I click on over here. I can click on over here, I can type letter E and the cursor jumps to that search button. So here I can say I'm looking for Adam and now you are getting this list. I click on OK and now you start getting all the records. You also have the keyboard shortcut if you want to perform. You can press Alter and down arrow key and you get the same pop-up menu and I type over here E, it jumps to the text box and here I say I want to have all the last names Austin. You can see you started getting it. Now if I click on OK, it will apply this filter, it's gonna show only the last name with Austin. But if I select this checkbox, whatever records are there, they will stay there. That is last name Adam and it will also add this Austin criteria. So if I click on OK, now you are getting Adams also and you are getting Austin also. Now let's uh, remove this. I can click and clear the filter. Now you are seeing all the records. Now let's talk about custom filters. So when I click on over here, we have text filters options available for text. When I click on over here, you get number filters. And when you click on over here for date columns, you get date filters. Now what options are available within these filters is when I click on some column that contains text data, I can go to text filters and then you can perform criteria where you can say that I want to look for something equal to or not equal to or they begin with something or end with. 
contains or doesn't contain or you can say custom filter so when I click on suppose begins with you can see that this option is already selected you can also manually select from here you want to look for equal to or not equal to begins with or ends with so if I say I can select some criteria from here and you can have maximum two options given over here using and or operation so you can also perform wildcard search if I say give me a star s o n so it means that give me all the names that end with the letter s o n in the beginning it could be anything and you are getting all the options over here the name that the last name that end with s o n you can also use the question mark where question mark represents a single character so it means that give me all the names that begin with three letters and in the ending they have s o n so you are getting watson and wilson if i press one more question mark and you are getting simpson so this is how you can use question mark for single character and star for any number of characters and let's say okay and now you are getting all the records with watson and wilson remove the filter so this is how you can perform the filter same way you can do it for numbers you can say number and show me all the records that are greater than equal to 20 and less than equal to and is less than or equal to 50 so it's gonna show you only those records more than 20 and less than 50 and let's clear the filter and let's see working on date and time I can click on date here are the dates you are getting in the year if I drill down I can see the months and I can if I further drill down I can see the dates within that month so you can select any year or month or date you can also perform search from here you can say I want to see all the records for tomorrow or today or yesterday or next this and last week or month or quarter or year so if I say show me the records for the last month and now you are seeing all the records for the last month so this is how you can perform the filter operation you can also use the custom filter over here you can say if it is greater than this date and less than this date you can perform filter operation so this is all about auto filter if you want to remove that auto filter you can just click on over here and the, the arrow buttons are gone from the column headers so that was all about auto filtering hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video